Okay guys, doing this down and dirty, don't even have a hat on, but today we are going to be doing finally another EDC content video because I figure you guys kind of want that. <laughs> it's been a little while and the kind of reason why I've been doing a lot more survival and bushcrafting content is because that uh, I haven't been doing it like at all and, and we kind of hit that summer rush here in Alaska and it's like, oh my goodness, time to get outside, get in the woods, play and uh, just have a lot of fun. And another reason why is I've been seriously going on adventures and doing some crazy stuff and <clears throat> doing some crazy stuff and there will be another update because we got another new addition to the cast members of Life in the Taiga and before everyone shouts is Ashley pregnant or is it a kid? No it is not a kid. Yes it's a pet. Yes I'm going to tease it right here but we're going to do an actual video with the new cast member in it and uh, kind of talk about that a little bit more because well hopefully with the new cast member we're gonna be able to do some more really fun videos because it's been a long time we have had similar cast members in the past but it's been a long time since we've had one of these in particular one of these types of cast members so it's gonna add a new element or not new it's gonna be bringing back an old but much enjoyed element uh, to the crew so anyways guys enough teasing and I'm sure I've already rolled in the picture for y'all to see so today we're going to be talking about my top most EDC knives slash multi-tools for the month of May. Now that May is winding down and we're nearly into June, it's always a good time to kind of recap and talk about that. So starting off with the technical knives, the first is the good old SE3. If you guys recall, I was given back this or found this um, last month and since then it's kind of one of those things that when you find one of your knives that you've lost for like a few months you're like oh my goodness you get it back and you start carrying it so <clears throat> the SC3 is on that list and it is an awesome knife really love it and once again getting it back in hand for the first time in a handful of months just reminded me how much I loved it so <clears throat> next to that is the defensive blade the primary defensive blade for the month now last month it was the ZT-052 but back to the good old um, Microtech Ultratech double edge out the front uh, kind of dagger style blade really awesome love this little guy the primary reason I moved back over to this is you know it's summertime so we're starting to go back to lighter weight to close and less bulky stuff shorter stuff so I don't want to carry that really large ZT-052 and plus who can deny that's a really really fierce looking edge for defending yourself with. So then moving over now to the multi tools but still knives that I EDC. The first one is the Victorinox Huntsman. Now the reason why you guys may be wondering why I have so many uh, multi tools in the list for the EDC and that is naturally I'm spending more time in the woods so on body for kind of like EDC stuff I'm carrying more multi tools because I need the functions I need things like awls I need things like knives multiple different types of knives and stuff like that so got the like I said Victorinox Huntsman then I got the good old Leatherman Plus Charge Plus sorry Leatherman Charge Plus awesome multi tool still much in love with this and then finally, because I've been kind of unofficially in a bit of a quest for a new Leatherman, and the first Leatherman I tried to get was actually a Leatherman PST2, but tragically, and it really upset me, like the week of my wedding, I was like totally focused on that. Uh, <laughs> the USPS was supposed to deliver a, that PST2, well, it got delivered, but it got delivered at least on the USPS website, but I never found it in my mailbox. And the thing is, I kind of watch like a hawk over my mailbox, and so I was there within like 30 minutes after it was supposedly delivered, and I never saw it. So personally, I don't know what happened, but I think a USPS person took it. So anyways, long story short, I wasn't able to get the PST2, so I traded off and did another little exchange because I'm big on Facebook buying, selling, and trading websites and uh, or pages. And I got a Super Tool 300. And 
this little guy has been rocking with me and I'm kind of just using it playing around with it and for the most part I think it's going to be relegated to my dedicated backpack multi-tool because that's kind of what I wanted to get in a PST2 or Eel Leatherman Super Tool 300 was something to have for my backpack that was an official multi-tool that could just stay in the backpack but it's nice to occasionally whip it something out like this for everyday carry and the Super Tool 300 is pretty cool once again it features things like awls, can openers, screwdrivers so it makes it really useful for the woods but also pretty useful and practical for EDC. So anyways guys, those are my top five uh, multi-tools, or sorry, not multi -tools, top five uh, everyday carry knives for this month, for me personally, for the month of May. And you're probably gonna see more of this theme, uh, just being honest, of more fixed blades and <clears throat> multi-tools for the summer months because I tailor my EDC to match my activities and in the winter time I'm more like legitimately inside doing desk work kind of stuff whereas in the summer I'm out here I'm outside and I'm generally out in the woods so more of my everyday carry is tailored to suit that lifestyle of being outside being outdoors so anyways you'll kind of see changes and variants like that but anyways guys that's all for now God bless hopefully you've enjoyed this and I'm out